Long before Arnold Schwarzenegger starred in the 80s action movie Conan the Barbarian, the story of Conan was deeply rooted in the mind of a young Texas author. Now you have the chance to peer inside the mind of Robert E. Howard at a special exhibit that opened today here in Austin. But as KXAN's Angie Bevan explains, we might never have heard of any of Howard's characters if it had not been for one of his biggest fans. This is the story of an artist, unappreciated in his time. He was a pulp magazine writer. He wrote dreams of adventure fiction and horror fiction and boxing fiction, and plus thousands of poems. But it's also the story of a fan's devotion that brought these words to life. For so long, Glenn was um, the gatekeeper and really the, the steward of Robert E. Howard's legacy. The year, 1932, in a dusty West Texas town, Robert E. Howard typed a story about a warrior in the Hyborian Age, a mythic era before the dawn of recorded history. At the time, the stories of Conan were only seen in the pulp magazines that originally printed them. But the stories of swords and sorcerers struck a chord, spawning a whole new genre of literature and pop culture. If you ever played a, a role-playing game like Dungeons and Dragons or if you currently play Skyrim on the Xbox or if you watch Game of Thrones on HBO, those things all have a root in the writings of Robert E. Howard. But most of Howard's work would have been lost to time had it not been for Glenn Lord. In the 60s, Lord tracked down Howard's writings, little by little, collecting over 15,000 pages of original manuscripts, maps, letters, and more. Glenn has always been the most important person, the most important name in Howard fandom, and so to know that it's going to endure is so fantastic. Glenn Ward's collection of Howard's pioneering body of work will be on display and preserved at the Harry Ransom Center so future generations can enjoy this Texas treasure. Howard's work is unmistakably Texan. Uh, his stories have a Texas uh, feel. He wrote about Texas history. He defended Texas. If Howard isn't a Texas writer, then no one is. You might call it the end of an era as the gift rolls in from the biggest fan of all. Angie Bevan, KXAN News. The Robert E. Howard collection is on display now at the UT Harry Ransom Center. The center will preserve the collection forever, allowing access to researchers and scholars.